Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Gospel Reflection for this Saturday, the 14th of May. And today we celebrate the life of St. Matthias, and I'll mention a bit more about him after our Gospel reading. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel today, we continue to read from John, chapter 15, verses 9 to 17. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my own joy may be in you and your joy be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I shall not call you servants any more because a servant does not know his master's business. I call you friends because I have made known to you everything I have learnt from my father. You did not choose me. No, I chose you, and I commissioned you to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last. And then the father will give you anything you ask him in my name. What I command you is to love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. As I mentioned, today we celebrate the life of Saint Matthias. Matthias was not one of the original disciples but was chosen after Judas's betrayed Jesus, which we heard a little of earlier this week. We know that two candidates were put forward and that lots were drawn. And as we're told in the Gospels, the lot fell to Matthias. The drawing of lots is a recognised Jewish custom. Random events, independent of any obvious natural or human cause, were seen as a direct expression of God's will. So today we might remember that when we attain a position, that we got there because of the people we have met and the things we have done. And more fundamentally, because of the gifts and talents that God has given us. So as we do in the tradition of our church, St. Matthias, pray for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you for joining me for our gospel reflection today. This brings to an end the fourth week of our Easter season. I look forward to seeing you on Monday as we continue the Easter season. Uh, have a great weekend, stay safe, and I'll look forward to seeing you on Monday. Thanks very much, everyone. God bless.